up my people, the machine freaks, how you guys doing? I hope life is treating you well. Somebody uh, somebody got a little ghetto fabulous with uh, my truck, I guess. I guess this is a Jesus mobile, but it is still a Chevrolet, so. I guess you can't trust Chris and his guys with just random stuff laying around and zip ties, I guess. We're definitely gonna need this, as you guys know. The Apex should get on there, however, we're gonna need some ramps on top of those ramps. I need four ramps. Trailers on the back, we're locked and loaded for bear. Gotta go up to the shop, get those other ramps because we are picking up the Apex. Yes, the Apex, the 1000cc of pure enjoyment. <laughs> So the steel ones are for the skis because it has a less uh, drag resistance or whatever the scientific, scientistic stuff is about that. And then the aluminum uh, is for the track. If you want to be all scientific. And here it is. And luckily the key is in it. I couldn't find it so I was hoping that it was here. That isn't a good sign though. That's a better sign. <laughs> Kill switch. <laughs> Freaking diesel. And that's the issue that we're having. Sounds great. Jake, I screwed up your driveway, buddy. Max, I'm sorry. I was running uh, when you had it out the other the one day. Like that. Yes, the Apex made it up to the warehouse. I know, unlike the Apex, my content has been a little dry. There hasn't been a lot of content uploaded. You guys can keep up with me, however, on Instagram. You, you can see a lot of the things that I will mention in my videos, so you can stay up to speed that way. The link is right there, or, or the username is right here. I can't remember if it was last year or the year before, but I think I had a little bit too much fun the last time I rode this thing. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't what you wanna. You don't really wanna see this when you open up anything, like anything, whether it's a, a snowmobile, a four wheeler, a dirt bike, your pool filter, anything. I, I'm afraid to put my hands in there because there might be something living in there. Well, I haven't got my fingers chewed off yet, but uh, this is like half the nest. So we're definitely screwing up somebody's bachelor pad in here, but hopefully you didn't screw up the old Apex, otherwise uh, this guy's definitely getting evicted. Luckily it doesn't reek. Call and I'll bring you guys up to speed here. I was riding this thing one time with Jake, his family, and a bunch of my friends, and somehow I bottomed out my suspension or something happened and the studs or the picks, whatever you want to call them, on the track, the little the little metal teeth things that give you excellent traction so you can get out of the hole and just have a fantastic time. Those went through my intercooler. <laughs> So what happened was all my coolant leaked out, dumb 3D machines was like, hey, you know, I don't know, because the green stuff is behind me, I'm going forward. So the engine light comes on, saying it's too hot, so I get into the powder thinking that that would help me, it didn't. Oh, 
I'm after uh, these things in here. I obviously will show you in a second what exactly I'm talking about, but it's in there. Now it got hot, but it didn't seize up. I did let it idle and then I turned it off. A few days later, I uh, tried to start it up. Jake tried to start it up and it just wouldn't start. So I believe I replaced like one or two coils and I'm hoping that that's what the issue is right now. I'm hoping that we're not dealing with a warped head. So we did have fun. And probably a little bit too much fun like the other night when I got, get this thing. Yes, so I'm supporting Buffalo's police, uh, yeah. Their envelope was kind of dull, so I kind of wanted to spice it up a little bit. And like I said, you would have already known that if you followed my Instagram. Also, you would have saw this thing running before this video. These two are easy to get out. Cylinder one and two. Cylinder one's looking uh, moldy or whatever the hell that stuff is. It is wet for some reason. And this must be one of the new ones I put in there because as you can see, there's grease on it. So since they're easy to get out and we know what we gotta look for for a spec, we'll go ahead and dive into that. This one has a boot, but this one doesn't. But this is the, this doesn't make any sense. So here's our first cylinder right here. They're supposed to be at 68 degrees. I would say they're at about 60. So I've sat here with two multimeters, and my assumption is both of these coils are bad. My question right now is, is it firing on two cylinders, one cylinder? Are these things kind of working? Are they not working at all? I don't know. So we're going to have to get to the other two, that is for sure. So we're going to have to take this tank off, this tank off. So I think we're going to have to take this whole plastic shroud off. I don't think I can fit my hands in there. It might sound silly me saying this, but I'm actually glad that those coil packs are showing a, showing a sign that they're shot. Because if they're just shot and we don't have like a warped head, like we're in business. These things are only like 30 bucks a piece. A head on the other hand, you can see it, it's a little bit more pricey and you gotta take this entire thing apart. Like you gotta even take the seat off to get to the head. No way, you dirty dog. <laughs> so here we go. We got coil number one, coil number two, or no. We got coil number three and coil number four. This is coil three. This was a bastard. You, you guys saw the numbers for all the coils, one through four. These ones right here, and this one looks terrible. Uh, it looks like I replaced these two. This is a very, very good starting point. I'm glad we dove into this first. So next to the coils, I have these keychains and these air caps. As you guys know, Christmas is like right around the corner. What is it, nine, eight days left until Christmas. Just like you, I like surprises. So what I'm going to do at machinemerch.com until December 25th, Christmas, I'm going to put a random keychain or air caps, things that aren't on machinemerch.com. I'm going to throw them in with each apparel item. I want to say I have like 20 different keychains. I have like 10 different sets of air caps, different colors, different styles, everything. So if you buy a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a hat, a winter hat or a flat brim hat, if you put it on yourself, you will get a free mystery item. But like I said, this is only up to Christmas. After that, it's over. I wonder if that wrench actually works. This thing actually does work. It is a quarter inch. So now that you know what's going on with the coils and you're up to speed on the mystery giveaway at machinemerch.com, Let's see what else is up with the Apex. I wanna check the oil to make sure coolant's not getting into the oil because if you have a warped head, things just, fluids go where they're not supposed to go, so hopefully we don't have coolant in this oil. And we're looking good. So, so far, having too much fun and getting that thing hot doesn't look like it's caused any huge problems because there's no coolant into the oil. We have bad coils, which is really, really good, uh, signifying that the running, the, the thing running crappy may not be a warp head.
the jokes I could make about these two spark plugs, they were both loose and wet. YouTube requires me to be a little bit more classy, so I can't say the things that I would say, but if you want to leave what you were thinking in the comment section below, others may appreciate it. <laughs>